Hey there, everybody. Thomas Wood with ValueCharts.com. We're going to take a look at the S&P. Today is Tuesday, November 17th, the day before FOMC. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at one of the trades from the futures trading room. And that was a long in the S&P on a pennant breakout. Now, first thing this morning, we went through and we looked at our daily price charts and we said, okay, we have a bullish directional bias for the indices because of a bullish engulfing pattern on yesterday's daily price chart. So because we had a bullish directional bias, all we did is we waited till we had a bullish setup. Our bullish setup was the pennant right here on a thousand tick chart with a break point at 51 and a half, or if you wanted to play it safe, you were waiting for the break of 52. The target was a retest of the 59 and a quarter resistance, which we went right up, ran into for a double top and then pulled right back down and you would have been exiting at uh, 58 and a half. So not a bad trade. You had about six and a half points worth of a move based on a thousand tick pennant breakout within the context of a bullish directional bias based on the daily price charts. So all in all, not a bad trade setup. This is just one of the ways that we trade in the futures trading room. We go through and we look at in the morning, a lot of different time frames. We get our bias, whether we want to be going long or short, whether we are bullish or bearish market for the day. Then all we have to do is watch intraday, short term, for a setup to occur where we can take a trade in the direction of our bias. So we wait for a consolidation breakout, or we wait for a divergence, or we wait for a candle. Something that will point it to move in our direction, in the direction of our bias. That's what happened with the S&P today. A lot of people were able to take the trade and made quite a bit of money on it. So that's all I have for you for today. I will see you in the trading room bright and early tomorrow morning. And until next time, happy trading.